that it will ban shark fin from its cargo flights. Green groups have said that Hong Kong's flagship carrier may fly up to 50% of all shark fin imported by air into the city. Let's go to Rainy and Asensio who joins us now live once again from CNN Hong Kong with all the details on this. Um, this is a momentous decision from Cathay, uh, heartwarming for environmentalists, Rainy, and it's also good news for the oceans. And that's right, Nina. Good news for the oceans and good news, of course, for all the sharks out there. Uh, Cathay Pacific did announce it will stop carrying shark fin as cargo. That'll take effect in the next three months from now. Now, the course change is thanks to this uh, two-page letter I've got right here, sent in July 23rd and signed by more than 40 international conservation organizations. They include the likes of uh, Greenpeace, Animals Asia Foundation, as well as the SPCA, the uh, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Now, the most important claim by all these groups was uh, this, just right here. This up, first. up to 650 tons of shark fin were potentially imported by Cathay Pacific last year alone, and they said an estimated 20 to 50 percent of Hong Kong's total imports flown in on Cathay Pacific cargo. Now, Cathay Pacific says it does ship some shark fin, but it said that uh, it was just a fraction of the alleged amount as, as estimate, but wouldn't say how much exactly. Now, in an email to CNN, Cathay Pacific did give us this reply saying it has decided to stop shipping unsustainably sourced sharks and shark related products. Uh, there we go. So, uh, sharks and shark related products. Uh, our carriage of these is inconsistent with our commitment to sustainable development. Now this does apply both to Cathay Pacific as well as its regional airline Dragonair. Remy, this is obviously definitely good news for sharks and environmental groups as well, but if we put it into context, 650 tons sounds like a fair amount of shark fin, but I understand it pales in comparison to the total amount that's actually imported into Hong Kong. Yeah, that's a good point. Hong Kong's own government data says more than 10,000 tons of shark fin was actually imported into the city last year, so 650 tons is just about 6% of that total amount. Uh, still, it is a welcome move, and Stan Shea of an environmental group, Bloom Association, says it's small steps like that that'll get the movement towards a goal of banning shark fin everywhere. Take a listen. If we keep on what we are doing to the sharks and also to other predators like bluefin tuna, so sooner or later, some of the sharks and some of the bluefin tuna, they just gone. Now I see the Bay Pacific such an initiative on marine conservation is a big step, showing to other corporate what to understand the issue and also make change has change happenings in Hong Kong. And other organizations have definitely been joining in the ban to stop this from happening. Uh, the uh, Peninsula Group announced a shark fin ban that started on New Year's Day this year. And in the past few months, even the Chinese Communist Party has banned shark fin soup at its official government functions. Uh, there's an estimated 73 million sharks that are killed each and every year. The Cathay Pacific's promise to stop carrying their body parts as cargo. It is another step to save many shark species from the threat of extinction. Nina. Some rare good news there coming out in the world of business and also environmentalists. Thanks so much for that. Ramey Nisensu from CNN Hong Kong. Well, European travellers hoping for 